Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our scripture breakdown ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Colossians 1, verse 25 to 26. And it reads, Of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. I repeat, of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. And the first part says, of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God. Here was Apostle Paul speaking about his ministry. Um, in the previous verse, in um, verse 1, Colossians verse 1, verse 1 verse 24 spoke spoke about the rejoicing of apostle paul in the suffering of the suffering in the flesh of what was lacking in the affliction of christ so he was suffering in the flesh and he said of which i became a minister so he became a minister according to the stewardship of god so apostle paul was a minister and had his ministry he had his purpose, his purpose for coming on earth. Um, and he discovered his purpose uh, when he was on the way to Damascus. It says, according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you. So the stewardship of God, that is the mantle and the anointing was given to Apostle Paul from God to you. It was given to him for you. For you is the Colossians at that time. For you is the body of Christ. For you is the rest of the world. And it says to fulfill the word of God. To fulfill the word of God. Fulfilling the word of God means ministering the gospel. To fulfill the word of God also is living according to the prophecies of old. The prophecies of Isaiah. The prophecies of other prophets. Of Isaiah. The prophecies of of. Um, Micah and other prophets who were in the Old Testament. So to fulfill the word of God, then it says the mysteries which has been hidden from ages and from generation. Now that was the ministry of Apostle Paul. He said to fulfill the will, the, the word of God and, to, and the mysteries which has been hidden from ages and from generations. Now if we read carefully, the Ephesians, the Galatians, the Corinthians, the Philippians, and all other books that Apostle Paul wrote, all the epistles which he wrote, he constantly spoke about the mysteries of the church. He spoke about daily living. He spoke about um, how Christians were meant to live. He spoke about himself and how um, Christians were meant to to um uh, spoke about long suffering he spoke about rev he spoke about revelational knowledges he spoke about the reconciliation he spoke about how christ died for our sins he spoke about the position and authority of christ he spoke about god in in depth he spoke about many other mysteries of the of the ages hidden from the ages the mysteries were not spoken in the first in in the in the um, Old Testament because they were hidden in ages. Then the and spreading from generations and from ge from ages and from generations. So these mysteries were spoken by Apostle Paul in these books, and this was a revelation of this ministry. And he said, "But now has been revealed to his saints." So these these uh, mysteries were revealed eventually in the Bible to the saints and the rest of the world because the Bible is readable by anybody. 
Now, I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelation or knowledge, that we will be able to walk with it around, and that ultimately, God is able to help us to understand our ministry, to help us understand who we are in Christ, that as we journey with Him, we are able to know what our calling is, both spiritual and physical, that we're able to thrive and succeed in our calling, that ultimately we're able to make heaven. All is I ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless, God bless in Jesus' name. Amen.